all-star snub? Maybe, but nobody can deny the impact of Anthony Davis in his sophomore season with the Pelicans. We're going to go as far as he can carry us, and that's a lot for a 20-year-old. Davis greatly improved his scoring totals from last season and leads the NBA in blocks per game. Pretty impressive for a guy that can't legally buy alcohol yet. But it still wasn't enough to earn Davis an all-star label, despite this year's game being played in the Big Easy. Every player when doing the league is playing on Sunday, you know, so um, it's something that I definitely want to do. But then again, if it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. My thing now is, okay, you didn't make that. Let's look for All-NBA and Defensive Player of the Year. And, and if you don't, if you keep playing like that and they don't give it to you, then we're all going to have it. Anthony Davis's rise may not have been enough to get him in the All-Star game, but it's come at the perfect time for the Pelicans as they try to turn their season around. With three of their top six scorers sidelined indefinitely, the team went through a brutal eight-game losing streak last month, but they've since won five of their last seven games as players begin adjusting to their new roles. They don't have much choice, you know, and I think it, it, it's settled in for us that this is our team. We've had a, It's a new team. It's been our training camp basically for the past three weeks. We just accepted it and realized it's, you know, it might be the team that we have you know, for the rest of the season. So we got to we gotta definitely you know, keep doing what we're doing the last five games, four or five games, trying to put it together even more and gel even more so we can go to the next level. In New Orleans, Patrick Clay, Tiger TV Sports.